So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome back to another video for Red Pawn CDF and in this video we'll be discussing the fifth challenge in Red Pawn CTF web that is the Red Pawn is. So this actually took me a lot of time to figure it out but it couldn't be easier after they uh, added this particular hint. I mean I've, I've spent a lot of time on this and just when I did this that these guys added this particular hint and I was like devastated Anyway, so you could see that after this hint it is so clear that it is something to do with redis, right? And uh, Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the only thing you had to figure out. So you're gonna see that uh, Okay, what the hell did I just do? Okay, anyway So you could see that this particular site says that you have to give it a URL and whatever URL you give it, um, it's just going to ping it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what the site does. So initially, your first go would be to try out to set up your own server or whatever, you know, on localhost, uh, use ngrok and do stuff like that. But eventually, you're going to find that nothing, some, nothing like that works. Then if you're lucky enough to figure out the keywords red and is, you're going to get a click that it should be something with a red is right so once you associate that it is something with redis you're gonna google something about redis so i'm gonna google about redis port right so we could see that the default port on which redis listens is 6379 all right so once we have that in place what we could see is that these servers have their own ports like this so the first try would be to go to um the 6379 port but obviously it does not work. So what I try to do is I just try to go with localhost to see what's happening. So if you go with localhost, you're gonna see that we get the same page which we are on right now, right? So we got the same page. So that means that we are actually working with the correct um, localhost version. So it's hosted on port 80, you know, everything's working fine. So what happens if I add localhost 6379 where the redis is hosted so once you do that you're going to immediately get that you are into redis cli right and since redis supports get command you know the first intuition would be to actually see if they have already set up a flag or something like that for redis in general so what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and do some nice stuff let's see if i have that payload saved with me so we're just gonna go ahead and copy this as fetch or in fact let me just see if i have that uh 8001 right so i should have that 8001 no i don't think so let's see so we have http shell dot 2019 red dot net 8001 yes we do right and uh, yeah so that is this so what's happening now is that if i just go ahead and try to do something like this what we're going to see and actually let me just bring up the networks tab here first of all we do something like this we're going to see in the debug response we get error wrong number of wrong number of arguments for the get so we could see that Redis um, is actually getting our this particular response. That is our HTTP raw get request, get response, right? That is this one. So what we want to do is instead of this, we want to actually input some Redis commands. So the first one you could obviously think of is like doing info first of all and hitting enter so once we do that we still get so how do we go about that well what we do is just we could observe after some tries you would be eventually be able to observe that you can actually insert a new line in the input right and once you do that you're gonna see that you can actually insert new line and you can see that we have some errors but different ones and that is because of the new lines so these slash r slash n new lines won't work you have to 
encode the URI components of those in order to make use of them. Oops. There we go. And once you do that, you're going to see something like you get the info of all the Redis of the Redis server which are, which they are hosting, right? And we don't care about these things. So the uh, next obvious thing is that we're going to try to get flag. Let's see if that thing works and hit enter. And once you do that, you're going to see it gets you nothing for now. But that shouldn't stop us because we could just remove this info first of all and see if that works. So once you do that, you're going to see that we get our flag right here. So essentially what you had to do is in this challenge was to figure out that this has something related to Redis. Once you do that, you have to connect it on localhost, Redis port. And then finally, you just had to say get flag because flag is an already set variable by the team inside the Redis server. And once you do it, you're going to get your flag back. So yeah, I would say it's not a very logical challenge. You had like, you know, really really go out of the way and think out of the box if you if you don't see this hint because you cannot really figure it out that it is a uh, redis especially because the name of the cdf itself is red pond so yeah i hope that i wasted less time on this challenge because i solved this challenge before this hint was out and these guys um just put out the hint a, a couple of hours hours after i solved this challenge so yeah that, that was really bad but uh, anyway, that is how you're going to proceed in this particular challenge. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.